I'm Jill Ferris. We're talking turkey. That's right. Thanksgiving is coming and I'm going to show you how to make a delicious homemade stuffing and the secrets to a moist turkey. Here's our ingredients for our stuffing. We have some shredded carrots, garlic, scallions, onion. I used a half an onion. I like scallions and onions because they have a little different flavor and I like the green crispness of the scallions. We have some celery. I used two stalks. Shiitake mushrooms. I think I use about six really large caps and you cut off the stems because they are tough. This is rosemary and it's fresh rosemary and actually fresh herbs are milder than dry herbs so go ahead and use a generous portion and this is fresh parsley what we're going to do is saute this all and then we're going to mix it up with our bread cover the bottom of your pan with a thin layer of olive oil you're going to place all of the ingredients except for the mushrooms and the herbs in the pan you can hear it sizzling and I'm going to mix it around a little. Now remember, you don't want to cook it fully because this is going to cook further in the bird. So you just want to saute it, brown it, get the richness of the flavors going. You can add jalapenos if you want. If you don't like carrots, don't use them. If you'd rather have white mushrooms than shiitake, that's fine. The reason why I held out the mushrooms is because they will wilt very quickly, as will the herbs. So I'm going to add those at the last second. Right now I'm going to saute a little and start seasoning. We're going to add some salt and pepper and a little bit of cayenne for heat. Remember, be generous with your seasoning because this is going to be diluted by mixing it up with your bread. Once your harder vegetables start wilting, then you're going to add your mushrooms and your herbs. We're going to throw that all in. And this only cooks for a few minutes, maybe about five now minutes. Now I'm just going to cover it for a few seconds so that the mushrooms can start to wilt. Otherwise, it's going to take a long time. They absorb a lot of the oil. Covering it will allow them to cook in their own moisture. Now we have this beautiful mixture of vegetables that are several colors. We have some of the mushrooms, the beautiful carrots, and the herbs. I wish you could smell this. It really smells wonderful. And now we're going to take it off the pan and we're going to mix it with our bread. Now what I have here is challah rolls. And I either use a challah or the rolls or onion bread. And the reason why I use it, I'm just going to break it apart with my fingers into little bite-sized pieces. And I'm going to do that with, I have Let's see how many rolls. I have about six rolls here. I might use four. I'm going to use four to six. What I want to do is have a nice, even mixture so that the vegetables don't get lost in the bread. The reason why I use challah or onion rolls is because they're, they're very eggy dough, and it really adds some sweetness to the stuffing with a nice contrast to the savory, and it always turns out delicious that way. It doesn't matter if your bread is like really fresh, if it's a little stale, that's okay because it will be revitalized. But this is the best so, way. To after the six challah rolls were broken up and thrown into the bowl with the sautéed vegetables, I cracked an egg for binding. Then I mixed it a little bit with my hands, a little bit with a spoon. Your hands are always the best, but remember this was hot when you put it in the bowl. If you have time to let it cool off, Great, if you don't, use a spoon. That looks really good. Now we're going to stuff our bird. The secrets to a moist turkey. I use a kosher turkey. Kosher turkeys are salted and soaked, so it's like brining. It tenderizes the meat. It makes it sweeter. Also, kosher turkeys somehow have a lot of fat, and that makes it... I actually had to take fat out of this. Everybody always complains that their turkey is dry. I had to take fat out of this. You go, you clean out the cavity, and there are two cavities in a turkey. There's the one here, and there's a little one here, so you have a little extra for stuffing. What we're going to do is we're going to stuff our bird and just stuff it in there. Stuff it in there. It's still a little warm, the stuffing. Oh, boy. You know, you can never have enough stuffing. Isn't that so? Sometimes you try to make a little extra by itself, but it just never comes out the same, does it? No, because there's nothing like having these pan drippings through the turkey as it's cooking. And it makes it delicious. Okay. Stuff it in there. I think we we really 
All right. It's, that's the only downside to a small turkey is that the cavity is not that big and you don't get that much stuffing. Now, you can also sometimes people kind of use that turkey kit and tie it up so it doesn't fall out. But, hey, it's going to be in the pan anyway. Whoa! I'm turning the bird out. And now we have a little cavity here. And we have some stuff that we're going to stick in here. That's right. Put some in here. Wherever you have space, fill it up. If you don't have space, throw the rest of it in the pan. If you'd like to see the second part of this video, Thanksgiving Turkey, go to our site, cookingforbachelors.tv, and you can see this video in its entirety. Or you can search the internet, Cooking for Bachelors, Thanksgiving Turkey. Look forward to some of our other dishes this week, butternut squash soup, cranberry sauce, and sweet potato pie.